Welcome to Scrapple TV. Today we look back a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away in the 23rd century. Oh, it can happen. You're watching Nerd News. Let's talk 2013 movies. Up first, Guillermo del Toro. Del Toro, he even sounds like a superhero, and he is. Heck, his Hellboy trilogy was wrapped up by part two, probably. So where is he turning his attention to this year? Giant fucking robots fighting giant fucking monsters, that's where. Pacific Rim, and it hits our shores in weeks and we have an exclusive clip on the most jaw-dropping special effects ever. We always thought alien life would come from the stars, but it came from deep beneath the sea portal between dimensions in the Pacific Ocean. Something out there had discovered us. They counted on the humans to hide, to give up, to fail. Wow, I admit that did look good, but it's no Johnny Sacco. Pacific Rim ends when the young female protagonist finds herself in a flurry of supernatural creatures and then her father shoots her in the stomach. That's just a guess. And speaking of things blowing up, J.J. Abrams, who every fangirl loves for creating the new hot Spock, and every fanboy hates for the same reason, has been handed the control of, brace yourselves, Star Wars. The man who swore that he wouldn't go over to the dark side has joined the Empire, and after reaffirming his fidelity to Star Trek universe, which he rebooted, Abrams has brought in, not sold out, to the giant Disney machine. An actual giant machine, by the way. Is there a clip? <laughs> Abrams is on record for being an avid Star Wars fan, and Lucas himself has released this statement. I don't care who directs the next films, let the guy over there with the glasses do it. Nothing matters. I mean, I'm paraphrasing, of course. But Abrams has said that he'd willingly kill all of the crew of the Enterprise off if anyone gives him any shit about this. Just ask the guys in the red shirt. The plan for success is simple. Take the very best of Star Wars and Star Trek and create Trek Wars, whereby one young boy finds his destiny hidden in his genetics by leading a multi-ethnic rebellion with white people in charge against an evil federation of Starfleet Jedis. The plot, unknown at this time, so I'm speculating it's Khan. Well, that's all she wrote for this segment. Join us next week for your nerdy neediness. And remember, one man's Empire Strikes Back is another man's Attack of the Clones. Unless we're talking about the Wrath of Khan, in which case, there is no other man. I shall leave you as you left me, as you left her. Marooned for all eternity in the center of a dead planet. Buried alive. Buried alive.